So before starting this video, I'd love to thank Relable for sponsoring this entire tree series. So do you wish to work with companies like Cred, Upgrad, Urban Company, Razorpay, but you are not able to apply because of your lack of experience and of lack of opportunities? So here's a solution to this problem. Relable by Unacademy is a hiring platform that helps freshers and experienced people to get jobs in India's top companies. All you need is skills. So what you need to do is you just need to give the relevant test that is completely based on your skills. Depending on your performance, your interview will be scheduled and you will be hired from the relevant platform. And the best thing about this is it's absolutely free. So what are you waiting for? Please make sure you check out the links in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be discussing the level order traversal, which is another episode from the free cut tree series so what is a level order traversal so this is the binary tree that you are seeing over here right so if i talk about level this is the first level right so if you are if i write down one then if i write down the next level from left to right from left to right if i write it down it will be two three again if i write down for the third level first it's going to be four then it's going to be five then it's going to be six then it is going to be seven so this is what a level order traversal will be it's going to traverse in this fashion then in this fashion then in this fashion so you have to print the level order traversal of any given binary tree so in order to print the level order traversal in level wise what we require initially is a queue data structure okay so let's uh, define a queue data structure now this queue will be initially having the root of the tree that's one now in order to store the traversal level wise we will be requiring some data structure so let's take a vector of vector or an array list of array list for that reason so i'm going to take a vector of vector which stores uh, the level wise traversal level wise now these are the initial data structures that i'll be taking okay now let's start iterating over this queue so what's the first thing that i have i have a node which is one so let's take this one out. Okay, so we've taken this one out. Now, whenever you take this one out, please make sure that if on the left of this one, that's two, if it exists, if the left exists, just take this left guy and put it into your queue data structure. Okay, now check the right side of one. Just check the right side of one. Does the right side exist? If it does exist, take this and put it into your queue data structure once once you have done it for one okay once you've done it for one since there was only one guy of this level right what you will do is you will take this one put it into a vector or a list and you'll put it into your data structure which stores your traversals so I put that so this traversal is completed now in the next traversal or in the next iteration of the queue what you will do is whatever is like whatever are lined up in your queue, just take them. Whatever is lined up in your queue, just take them. You don't need to any. You don't need to do anything extra. Just take them. Whatever is lined up. Now off to check the left. That's a four. On to check the right. That's a five. So first four, then five. Insert that into your queue data structure. Similarly, do it for three. For three on the left there is a six. On the right there is a seven. So let's take six, let's take seven and insert into a queue data structure. Once, yes, once on this iteration, you have done for two and three. Again, put it into a list or a vector and just make sure you put it into your data structure, which is storing your level wise traversals. So I'll put two and three as of now. Perfect. Then the next iteration, you have these four elements. That's your next iteration, right? You have these four elements. So what you will do as of now is you'll take these guys out four, five, six, seven. So four is taken, five is taken, six is taken, seven is taken. Does four have a left? No. Does four have a right? No. Does five have a left? No. Does five have a right? No. Does six have a left? No. So similarly, no one has a left or a right. So if it doesn't have, you don't need to push anything into the queue. Now take these four guys out, put it into a vector and put this into your required answer data structure, which is four, five, six and seven. 
So once this is done, yes, once this is done, you can say your traversal is completed and if you carefully observe your queue data structure is indeed empty now. Whenever this is empty, you can say this data structure stores your level order traversal. So this is how you're going to store the level order traversal. So I hope you have understood how to do a level order traversal on any given binary tree, right? Now let's quickly check out the code. So guys, I'm going to discuss the C++ as well as the Java code. So on the left side, you can see the C++ code. On the right side, you can see the Java code. So initially, you can see that you're given the root of the binary tree, right? So what you can see is, uh, initially I've declared the data structure, which is going to store the list or the level wise traversals. Right after that, I see if the tree that is given to us, if that is empty, I'm going to turn an empty data structure saying that I don't have any level wise traversals. After that, I have defined a queue data structure, right? That's the line I'm saying queue.push root. So this is the moment when I, when I make sure that I have all the initial configs ready. Right after that, I just make sure that I take the size. So whatever is the number of elements for the first time, I will have one for the next time I will have two, three. For the next time, I will definitely have four, five, six, seven, four elements. So I take the size of the element and whatever is the size, I basically traverse for that. So that means I'll traverse for two, three and the next time I'll traverse for four, five, six, seven. So this traversal is done using this for loop. Okay. Right after that, what I'm doing is I'm taking the node. That means uh, I'm just taking two, three or four, five, six, seven. Like in, this is the first iteration. This is the second iteration. This is the third iteration. Across, I'm taking every node. So what, what am I doing is I'm taking that node and I'm popping it out and, and whatever node I'm taking, if there exists a left, I'm pushing it into the queue. If there exists a right, I'm pushing it into the queue, right? And once it is done, I'm storing that node. Yes, I'm storing that node into some vector. So once the complete iteration is completed, I'll take this vector level and I'll put it into my answer. Got it? So this is how, this is how after the entire iteration, I can say my this data structure, which is answer will be storing the entire level wise traversal and I can easily return it. So guys, this is how the level wise traversal will look like. And so guys, if I discuss about the time complexity, that's a big O of N because as you saw, you traverse for one node, two node, three node, four node, five node, six node, seven nodes. So there are seven nodes or big O of N. What is the space complexity? Again, I can say it's a big O of N because at the worst case, your queue is going to store all the nodes in itself at a time. Like that's can, that can be the worst case. And will we, will we uh, take into account that complexity which this answer data structure is? No, we generally do not take into account that because that is what we are returning, right? That is where we are storing and returning. So that's not taken. So in usual, I can say the time complexity of level order is big O of N and the space complexity is also big O of N. So I hope you have understood the entire explanation as well as the code. Just in case you did, please, please, please make sure you like this video because it took a lot of efforts to uh, make this entire tree series. Also, if you wish, you can definitely drop in a comment that will keep motivating me to make such further series. Also, if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing because I'm going to bring in such more series in the upcoming future as well. With this, uh, let's wrap up this video. Let's meet in the next lecture. Bye-bye. Take care.